Hello, everyone. We have conducted a new update this time and will continue to do so in the future. I would like to share again the information regarding the installation process, which is one of the most basic aspects of this update. The installation has become much simpler and many issues have been resolved automatically. Great! New users can proceed with the installation as is, but previous users should follow the guide provided here. First, please delete the folder where the old Tuna Metapack was installed. Next, remove the currently installed Bifrost on your Windows system. After that, the process is the same as for new users. Reinstall Bifrost. As stated here, all future updates will be automatic. You only need to install our tool as a Windows program. Now, let's check the installation path. By default, the installation path is saved in the 64-bit Program Files folder. It is recommended to keep this default installation path if possible. Once you're ready, let's proceed with the installation. And for those using a VPN, please make sure to turn it off before starting the installation. Let me remind you once again, turn off your VPN. During the installation, you might see a console window appearing and disappearing, and some errors may show up in the console. This is part of the process where the necessary Python packages for Maya are being installed. Don't worry too much about it. However, if any issues arise during this process, please don't hesitate to contact us. Once the installation is complete, a message window like the one above will appear. At this point, you can proceed with the installation of Bifrost. Oh, it looks like the update details are being displayed here. Please take a moment to check what's been updated and make sure to wait until the installation box automatically disappears. Do not click Cancel now. I'll take some time to read through the updates while you wait. Ah, the installation box has disappeared and the README file has been displayed. Great, now let's go ahead and install Bifrost. I will now go to the Autodesk website and install the latest version of Bifrost. After logging into your Autodesk account, navigate to the Product and Services section and find the Maya product. Click on the View Details option. From there, select the version of Maya you are using. Then click on the Extensions tab to download Bifrost. Please make sure to check the supported Maya versions for our tool, which are listed on our YouTube channel or in the product description. As of the time I'm recording this YouTube video, Maya 2022, 2023, and 2024 are all supported. So I'll go ahead and download Bifrost for all the Maya versions supported by our tool. Now, once you've downloaded it, let's proceed with the installation. There's one important thing to keep in mind when installing Bifrost. If you have installed Maya in a custom directory, not the default path, make sure to install Bifrost based on that specific path. By default, all Maya versions are installed in the path shown on the screen. If Maya is installed in the Autodesk folder, then Bifrost should also be installed in the Autodesk folder to ensure proper recognition. However, some users may have installed Maya on the D drive or in a different folder due to limited space on the C drive. Let me give an example. Suppose there's a folder named ABCD on your C drive. Inside that folder, there's an Autodesk folder where Maya is installed. In this case, you need to modify the Bifrost installation path as shown on the screen. Once again, it's crucial to install Bifrost in the Autodesk folder, which is the parent folder of your Maya installation with the same lower folder structure. If your installation drive is not the C drive, but a different one, you'll need to adjust the drive name accordingly. Now, since my Maya is installed in the default path, I will proceed with the installation using the default path. Now, you should see that the Bifrost folder has been created in the correct directory. That's it. Go ahead and launch Maya. Once Maya is running, you should be able to see the Tuna Rig shelf. If you only see the icons L and U, that means Bifrost hasn't been recognized correctly. Users are automatically granted a 24 hour free license upon first use. During these 24 hours, the tool will function as expected. However, after this period, none of the tools will work except for tuna utils, 
just like you see on the screen. Now I will show you how to register. First, click the register button and enter the serial key you were issued. Then, input your desired username and password. If the username you choose is already taken, you'll receive an error message automatically. Make sure to set a password that you won't forget. Now, let's proceed with the registration. Once you've successfully registered, log in using the account you just created. Great. If you check the script editor, you should be able to confirm that your account has been successfully logged in. Now, let's try running the tool again. Everything is working perfectly now. Let me briefly explain our personal license policy. A personal license allows only one license per PC. If you need to switch computers, you can request a license transfer, and we will assist you with that. However, as mentioned, you cannot use the same license on two computers simultaneously. Please keep this in mind as you use our tool. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.